Today, we will talk about floor area ratio. The floor area ratio is the relationship between the total amount of usable floor area that a building has and the total area of the lot on which the building stands. The floor area ratio is the relationship between the total amount of usable floor area that a building has, or has been permitted to have, and the total area of the lot on which the building stands. A higher ratio likely would indicate a dense or urban construction. Local governments use the floor area ratio for zoning codes. You may determine the ratio by dividing the total or gross floor area of the building by the gross area of the lot. The floor area ratio accounts for the entire floor area of a building, not simply the building's footprint. Excluded from the square footage calculation are unoccupied areas such as basements, parking garages, stairs, and elevator shafts. Buildings with different numbers of stories may have the same floor area ratio value. The floor area ratio is variable and local governments establish regulations and restrictions that determine the floor area ratio. The floor area ratio is a key determining factor for development in any country. Though the floor area ratio calculates the size of the building relative to the lot, the lot coverage takes into account the size of all buildings and structures. The lot coverage ratio includes structures such as garages, swimming pools, and sheds, including non-conforming buildings. The impact that the floor area ratio has on land value cuts both ways. In some instances, an increased floor area ratio may make a property more valuable, but it may also decrease the value of an adjoining property with a high sale value bolstered by a view that is now obstructed. Here are three key takeaways. 1. The floor area ratio is the relationship of the total usable floor area of a building relative to the total area of the lot on which the building stands. 2. A higher ratio usually indicates a dense or highly urbanized area. 3. Floor area ratios vary based on structure type, such as industrial, residential, commercial, or agricultural. Hope this would help. Thanks for watching.